Hi, this will be a short little video about how to clear the screen once in basic one-liner programs. Now, this question was raised by Mr. Holger Webling in basic programming language group on Facebook. And it's not only about clearing the screen, it's about doing some task only once um, in a single line of code when you're iterating through that same line over and over again. So you're looping and constantly executing that line but all we want to do is perform some task in this case clearing the screen only once at the beginning so let me show you um, what i mean um, using most famous one-liner basic code that's then print maze so let's write our little uh, 10 print program so we are going to print character of 205.5 plus random uh, and yeah and then we need this and we are go to 10 so this is what we have um, if we want to clear the screen in the same line um, it's a bit of a problem because that command to clear the screen is going to be executed over and over again and you're not going to be able to see the maze uh, so let me add another print and we are going to print petsky control character to clear the screen and we need this to list this yes so at the beginning we clear the screen and then we print the character and this is this is what you get so obviously this will not work okay there is a way to do this um, but we need to isolate this clearing the screen at the beginning of our line from the rest of the code um, so that means that we cannot use go to command um, but we can use infinite for loop so let me show you that let me make some space and we are going to do for i equals let's say 0 to 1 and we are going to use step 0 so that means that this for loop is going to be running infinitely never reaching the end value uh, and then instead of go to we will do next that's it so let me list this one more time so at the beginning we are going to clear the screen and then the for loop is going to take over and run this piece of code print character 205.5 plus random um, infinite number of times so if we run this here we go every time we clear the screen and then we start generating our maze now the problem with this solution is the only part of our entire line that is actually useful work begins all the way here everything up to here is almost useless um, it's just waste of characters waste of space there is a way uh, that we can improve this of course uh, let me rewrite this a little bit differently so we're going to change this um, into character which is exactly the same control petsky control character except it's written this way so we should have the same result now if we remove this for loop because we don't need that and replace this next with go to 10 and then we introduce another variable let's call it a and then here we will say that a is equal to 4 and I will explain why specifically 4 is selected if we run this now 
you'll get the same result but with less characters still we can do even better than this but before that let me explain this so at the beginning our variable a has value of zero that means that we're going to execute or print um, control character petsky character 147 to clear the screen then we're going to generate some random maze petsky character after that our variable a we will have value of four that means for the next cycle here we will have 147 minus 4 which is 143 if you take a look at petsky character table 143 is nothing so every other time except the first time this here will do absolutely nothing <laughs> so that's the way how we can achieve this again we still spend lots of characters just to do some task once in this case to clear the screen and every time we execute this code um, over and over again uh, without this code doing anything so how can we do okay, of course we can do one more thing we don't have to have two print commands we can join this together okay and we, if i run this works perfectly fine so we save some additional characters but we can do even better and i'm not saying that this is the only solution or it's perfect solution but it's the solutions solution that i like is to try to reuse the code piece of code that is effective work that we want to do during our iterations for both of these things for, for both of these tasks to clear the screen and print the maze character so how can we achieve that first of all our goal is to have only one print command and print only one character per cycle that's it so what can we do well if we continue to follow this logic uh, we can reuse this 147 minus a to be useful work in the next cycles not only to clear the screen in the first cycle but also to do some useful work in every other cycle so how can we achieve that well let's see let's try to see um 205.5 minus 147 will give us 58.5 so if we change this minus with plus that's the first thing and we don't need this part here we're just going to end this command uh, and our variable a will become this uh, 58.5 plus random and we don't need this and we don't need this okay this is all we need let me list this okay now we have only one print command with only one character and our a variable is 58.5 plus random so if i run this there we go we have cleared the screen and continue to generate our maze so the whole point is try to reuse that useful work that we want to use to do multiple tasks if possible so in this case in first cycle our variable a is zero that means that this print character is going to clear the screen in the every next cycle a variable a is going to be 58.5 plus some random addition and that means that in the next cycle uh, our print character is going to be 147 plus 58.5 random 
which is of course exactly 2.5 uh, 205.5 plus random exactly what we want to have and what we uh, did have at the beginning of this video so yeah very nice and elegant solution so okay let's try to abbreviate this Uh, um, okay, so this is our 10 print maze with clear screen. 10 print maze with there we go. And let's Enter this one more time and run it and here we go. That's it. It's even fast enough. <laughs> it's a little bit slower, of course. It has to do some calculations, but yeah, there we go. Of course, we can do some other stuff as well. Um, so, for example, let me show you some interesting stuff that we can do. Uh, playing a little bit with this. Let me show you this little piece of code and let's run it. And we have our little signal running across the screen like a oscilloscope. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Just a little bit fun. <laughs> so, this piece of code will generate um, very nice uh, bit art. So let me show you that. I want to show you another piece of code that should make things a bit interesting here. Now, if I run this, see, this is kind of screen replicator, <laughs> kind of. But what's more interesting, if I clear the screen and if I just type run. Well, that's all that I have for you today, so until next time, goodbye.